Hi, welcome. This is Myra with Boutique Paint. I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I found this wonderful um, tote and it screams beach. So I thought it would be a fun thing to work on with for a project. And I'm going to use uh, Iron Orchid Design Seashore stamps today. Say that 10 times fast. Um, this is a fabulous stamp. The detail on this, and I'll show it to you um, a little more close up here in a minute. Um, detail on these are incredible so i'll put this aside and what i'm going to do instead of stamping on this because this has got um so much going on with the stripes i am going to stamp on a piece of canvas so set that aside and i did oh the bag was 11.99 too so it was inexpensive um i did some practice stamps on a sheet of paper first to kind of get my design see what I wanted to do played around I can kind of played with both sides to see what I wanted to do and I decided to do this here and do love letters from the sea so once you stamp out what you want your design to look like then you can take your piece of canvas and put it over the um, the stamp and you can see through it and that gives you an idea and you want a little extra because um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this so it's not a um, raw edge you could get um, there's a liquid um, and it's I can't even think of the name of it right now but it it seals the seams it's a seam uh, seam stop no uh, fray stop that's what it's called um, and you can you know go around the edges and it'll keep it from frame but I want to go ahead and just turn this and today instead of sewing it I'm going to glue it so okay so let's see where we want to cut this I'll have a little extra on each side and then I lost my scissors so I'm just gonna Doesn't, the cutting doesn't have to be perfect, especially if you're going to turn it. So I'm going to scoot this out of the way. And I have a piece of paper down so that it will not go through, just in case the ink goes through the surface. But also, if you have an over stamp, then you don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to use three of these stamps. So i got a seahorse and two shells. This, I love this. The detail in this particular stamp is so incredible. So I'm using Iron Orchid Design ink, and this is black. I'm going to ink it up really good because it's going on fabric. I kind of want it to be able to saturate. Center it. And when you're stamping on fabric, it's nice just to kind of keep it there for a minute. So that the ink can go down into the fabric, really saturated. And just kind of, because this has so much detail, you really want to take your time and push it so you are getting that detail. Now you're gonna lose some of it just because you're stamping on a uneven surface as opposed to the paper. I'm gonna show you this real quick on the paper just so you can see um, the incredible detail that's in here. It's very old fashioned, um, you know, print style like in the 20s. And you can lift a corner and see, yeah, the detail's not going to come out quite as detailed on this as it does the paper. I'm going to take the seahorse, same thing. I didn't like the seahorse quite as much as some of the other ones, but the size was right. And the only reason, he looks a little mean. I know that's probably silly, but he, he just looks grumpy. I don't know. 
There was cute ones, I guess is what I... There was a couple cute ones. He's not as cute. But he's a good seahorse. Same thing. Just get some pressure down on there so you can get the detail. Move your fingers around, keeping it in place with one hand and moving it around with the other. Not moving it around. You don't want to move it around. You want to just be pushing with your other hand. And now the other seashell. Make sure you clean up your stamp edges around here if you have any over the ink that got on the little lip. Peel it up a little bit, it looks good. And if you miss a few spots, it's okay to go back and um, just very carefully line up. And even if it's just a spot, like if you, you say, well, there's not enough there, you can take that and just do that one spot and just kind of line it up. And there's not enough ink on this probably to but just push on it. So I'm gonna set these aside. And I'm going to bring out the mass. These come with the stamp. And um, <laughs> for like this one, it's kind of hard. You have to figure out which side to lay it down on. But you're basically matching up the, the mask with the design. And you just want to... Put it right over the top. That little seahorse. All right. And then I'm going to take kindest regards. And I'm going to stamp it, except I'm going to, I'm going to scoot this over a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to use the stone gray instead of black just because I want it as more of a just a little background touch and not to stand out as much once again ink it up good on this one you definitely want um, the paper behind because of Going over just in case you go over the edges. Let's go down. And this one, especially around where your masks are, you really want to give good contact. And when I lift this, chances are the masks will come with it. And be on the stamp. And lift it and check it. Yeah. Oh, I want a little bit more up here. A little bit more contact. Let's check this out. Yeah, it's looking good. All right. So lift it. And you can see the mask came off with that now to clean these and i'm not super picky about my stuff when i use it if it gets cleaned or not it's just you know when you're in the in the moment and then you're done and you're like ah i'm not gonna worry about cleaning it this these it's nice to have clean because um the more ink you get on it the harder it is it's going to be to see um the uh see through it so I'm gonna go ahead and clean these and you can wipe them down but if they get to the point where they're really hard to um, clean 
just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a paper towel. But remember these have ink on them and it's, um, don't just lay them down on something because the ink then can transfer to whatever you have there. So just quickly clean them off and then they'll be ready for use next time and you'll be able to see through them. Oop, see? <laughs> That's exactly what you don't want to happen on your kitchen counter or your dining room table. Um, if it is your kitchen counter, you can use rubbing alcohol and clean it up off that too. All right, set those aside. So now I'm going to cover up my ink so that I don't accidentally put anything in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just, the nice thing about canvas is you can do this with an iron, but you can also use your fingers and just push them down, make your seam. I might want to get out the iron just to get them really crisp. So I'm going to stop real quick and I'm going to pull out the iron so I can, especially on this one. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I found my iron, which was not easy. And I just basically turned the edges. When I got to the corners, I just folded it. Make sure that um, this corner kind of is up from this edge. So it doesn't, when you go to glue it, it's not sticking out at all. But other than that, just iron it down. If you wait and do this process um, after 24 hours, then you can also heat set your design and then it'll be good to wash also. So I'm gonna grab the bag. Fold that down, I set something on it to keep it down. I'm gonna line up this with the stripe there. And it turns out, so I had, I thought I had uh, glue for fabric, and this is this is glue for fabric, but I've had it a while, and it hardened up. I'm still going to use it because it's it is still kind of kind of workable. It's just kind of a paste now. Um, so I suggest normally you'd squeeze it out of the head. So um, it's time to buy a new one. But since we're in the middle of this, I'm going to go ahead. So I'm putting a little bit on the corners just to, so they will hold in place while we're, and they won't shift. That's a little much of my fabric paste. And then I'm just going to go around the edges. It's going to be nummy. All right, well, you get the gist. I'm not gonna waste your time sitting here watching me play with glue. Um, but basically what we'll put this, we'll center it, put it down, let it dry 24 hours and you're ready to go. If you have any um, questions about our products, they're on our website at www.boutiquepaint.com. Thank you so much for joining me.